Well, howdy, folks. General back to you. I'm going to show you something other. Now, if you hadn't got kids and grandkids and stuff running around, okay, don't do this if you do. These, these lids are a booger to fight, especially if you got arthritic hands like I do. Because you got to squeeze the poo out of the side of these things. And these little darn little tabs sticking up right here is what's doing it to you. Now, these are special snips that you use for cutting uh, uh, copper wire off the bottom of uh, circuit boards and stuff. You know, they're, they're for, uh, not for steel and stuff. But this is plastic, so you can get by with it. Reach up there right next to that, like that right there. Put it over a garbage can and uh, get the other one over here. Now, you defang that thing, okay? Now, when you screw that sucker on, it screws on just fine, but it screws off just fine, too. And you ain't got to mess with it. That's on there to protect the kids, okay? Like I say, if you've got Kids running around, you know, uh, 14 and less. Yeah, 14, because they're still goofy at 14. I mean, they, they ain't got it together yet. Porting their eyes and everything else. I like to get a small bottle. Now, it costs more to buy it in this size. But if you buy one and then get you one of these big ones, and this, this was uh, a quart and a pint. One and a half liters of, of stuff. Get over the sink or a garbage can or something other in case you, you just don't quite make it. And just pour in there as much as you want to mess with. I usually go about a half. Put that lid on before you set it down. Get it good and tight. And do this in the same way. And you're good to go. And if you're like me, you just guzzle out of here, wipe that top off with a uh, alcohol swab in the cap and all, you know, because if you had any germs and you've got over it, then you take a swig out of this, you know, you got it again, kind of a vicious cycle. So you keep you some alcohol swabs around you, like you, like you clean up your your tips of your fingers when you get ready to check your sugar. Now, I'm not diabetic, but I did my wife for a bunch of years, so I got used to using those. So I keep those little pads around for cleaning stuff, and you can't beat them. Anyway, uh, I'll talk all day. Love everybody. Remember the golden rule, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Y'all have a wonderful day. And this is General. Y'all like and subscribe. Hit the bell and make comments. Now out.